All right, hi friends. I know it hasn't even been an hour, but I have Alexandria II on my right wrist right now, and I fucking love it. I'm actually gonna spray it here on my left wrist. I know I didn't spray it in my first video. I did it after that video because I was making a TikTok, but I didn't like that take, so you, you don't really see me spraying it. But I'm gonna show you right here on my left wrist that I'm gonna spray this fragrance. Okay, so I do get that Coca-Cola fizz right now on this wrist, but right here, this just smells like a creamy, woody fragrance that is absolutely intoxicating. It's so funny because I'm gonna watch the video I did before this, and you saw how I was like, I thought it was good, but I wasn't crazy about it. This thing is making me go feral right now. Shit, okay, and you know how I said that this was more masculine in the opening? On my on the dry down right now here on my wrist, this is totally wearable by anybody. Anybody. Oh my god. And I don't get the uh creation E from Raja Parfums kind of vibe in here. And to be honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of that fragrance. There it is in the middle. It's the red one right there. I much prefer this one. Hold on, let me just enjoy this for a second. Okay, it means something when I tell you I'm not going to wear a fragrance because it's warm outside and I don't wear it and then I do wear it and I spray it twice, okay? This is a fragrance that I already know. Those two sprays that I did, I will be chilling until tomorrow in terms of fragrances. This thing performs. I literally re-entered my room right before I clicked the play button here in this video and my whole room smells like this fragrance the creamy sandalwood a really nice intertwined oud i do get like in the opening i got more oud but now it's more of a creamy sandalwood you know what i mean i do get a powdery like a slightly powdery um a small bit of rose but there's also rosewood in this fragrance if i'm not mistaken but i am just enamored by this scent man shit yeah this is one of those fragrances that you really you gotta be patient with it. You know what I mean? I remember I saw a lot of reviews and a lot of a lot of my subscribers were actually like, no, this is such a good fragrance. You have to give it time. And you were absolutely right, okay? This is not a scent you wanna judge off the first smell. It is something that just takes you on this journey and I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be on this journey right now. Okay, on my TikTok and my Instagram, I called this an all eyes on me fragrance. What I mean by that is that this is the type of scent that when you walk into the room, everybody stops and turns to look because you just, you capture everybody's attention, okay? This commands the attention in the whole entire room. It's just that kind of scent. So to me, you have to have a sort of confidence when you wear this because it's so bold, it's so unique, it's daring, it's loud, it's polarizing. And it just like, oh God, it's so sexy though. It's very, very sexy. Now, let me just pull out Naxos because I, damn, I love this. I think to me, Naxos is the fragrance I would wear. Like when I'm, when I'm not dressed up, not what, like when I'm not trying to show out, but still wear something that's mass appealing. Like I do find this extremely sexy. Like I think if I had to pick between these two, I'm going to say that, I would probably pick Naxos right now, but in terms of uniqueness, like if I want to smell like that person that nobody else smells like, like not a chance, then I would wear this one right here. This is the scent that will separate you from everybody else in the room, okay? This is just that type of scent profile. Let me smell Naxos real quick. Let me smell Naxos. Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah, this one. This one's a sweetie right here. This one. You can't go wrong with this. I think, let's say, if you're going on a first date or something and you want to make a really good impression, hell yeah, wear this fragrance right here. But if you want to be known as, like, I don't know, there's, I, I, there has to be a bigger word. Like, you know, the first person that I kind of thought of was Batman. You know what I mean? He just has that aura. There's that energy. He's, like, this rich guy, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, if Batman, Batwoman, whatever, because this can be worn on literally anybody. Just that type of powerful person that just, that has people kind of shaking a little bit, you know what I mean? Because there's just there's something about them. I really, really like this scent on my wrist right now. I love what it's doing. 
And you know what? It's pushing off really nicely. I'm not getting too irritated by the smell, even though I know it's extremely potent. Okay, this is a scent that even, even if I'm wearing it here, but maybe it's because it's like not like, you know, in this general area, but I just like, I can't get enough of it. And in that first video, I kept talking about how addicted I was and I didn't understand why, right? But now it's like, I get it. I 100% get it. The occasions I would wear this fragrance to are like black tie event for sure. I'm If I'm trying to show out, if I'm wearing a suit, something like that, oh my God, hell yeah, I would wear this fragrance. Would I wear this to a wedding though? It would have to be like maybe like a nighttime wedding and not like a fun like, oh, garden. No, it has to be something that is just like, it has to be cold. You know what I mean? It just has to, oh, damn, I'm getting like shivers just talking about this scent right now, but I love this. You know how I said I rated it a seven out of 10? I'm going to give this like a nine and a half right now. A nine and a half. I'm just on cloud nine with this fragrance, cloud nine and a half with this fragrance. It's doing it for me. I do think that this is still something that maybe if you get your nose on it, you might be like, no, what the hell are you talking about? You know, that's what I mean by polarizing. Not everybody's going to like this. Not every gut, not every goddies, not everybody is going to be able to pull this off. But damn, if you can rock this, like if this is your signature scent, let me just tell you right now, if this fragrance is your signature scent, you are the fucking man. You're the fucking woman. You are just that person right there. Let me tell you. fucking infatuated with this fragrance right now big shout out to twisted lily like i mentioned in my previous video i do have a discount code with them for 10 percent off if you want to pull the trigger on a full size of this of course if you want to sample it first do that this is this is a scent that i don't recommend blind buying but it's also for those people that kind of have that you know actually this is not something that you want to just like oh yeah you know let me let me just buy it and see it blah 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 like you just like really test this, or if you're fine with paying $550, $540, then yeah, you can grab it. But please, like, if you can find a way to get your nose on this with a sample with anything like that, try it. But wait for the dry down. Wait for like after that, after like a couple hours, even that first hour, because I think it's been maybe 45 minutes, no, maybe like 55 an hour right now that this has been sitting on my right wrist. Wow. I'm like salivating right now. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but this is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece scent. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I know it's going to last easily over a day. Easily over a day. Okay, so damn. Big love. I love the House of Search Off. I love you all. I'm having an amazing time right now. This is great. I hope to see you in the next video. And I'm going to stop recording now before I keep fangirling. All right, see you later. Bye.